yeah, when replacing brake pads on the Ford, this is a Bronco too, but on Fords there's an awful lot of s springs and mechanics to it. But once you get those brakes off, go ahead and check your piston. Make sure that the rubber boots look good. And uh, then you put the the larger brake pad on the side of the emergency brake. Make sure you just hook that in and go ahead and put in your retainer spring and uh, do the same thing to this one over here on the front, the, the shorter brake pad. Just put the retainer spring in and then you've got your three springs the larger one for the adjuster uh, goes to the bottom. The other two are the same on both the front and the back. They are the same. Make sure that when you are getting ready to install that you put this little channel piece in for the adjuster. That's going to come around here. And that's your first steps for putting those back together. Okay. Step two, you need to put the adjuster cable onto the top and make sure that uh, where the crimp is, is facing out away from the vehicle. And these things, these adjusters, you can get them, in, you have to get one for the left side, one for the right side. If you have to replace it, make sure you get the correct one. Anyways, eye pad out. Make sure it goes around that adjuster on the channel. That's pretty good there. And uh, then you want to put the forward spring on first. This adjuster has to have a little bit of play in it. So we're going to see if we can't get that on there. What I use is a screwdriver. that your pads are lining up to go into the piston. Set that bad boy on there. So before you put on your second tension spring, you got to put in this little spreader bar. Now there's two ends to it. The larger end is going to go to the emergency brake side and the spring goes over the smaller, narrower end. It's going to come up here. As long as you've only put on one spring, you should be able to put that dude in there fairly easily. It's a matter of getting it spread. Right now I'm like an eighth of an inch off from it. Kind of push back together, just make sure that the slots are seated. Do the brake pads a bit. There we go. And then you're ready to put your tensioner on. And I like to use the gloves. And make sure you got your channel guide for the adjustment cable in there and then we we'll just need a tool screwdriver pull it over that way and still together this thing's ready to install just push it over there crank on it in place. Everything's in place there. Just make sure your channel's set up nice. That's step two.
We're going to go to step three, and that's putting the adjuster uh, on the bottom as well as this tensioning spring. All right, step three, the, the hardest part of this to me, anyways, is installing the adjuster. Here's a self adjuster piece and the little tab goes into the brake lock right there. We're going to get that, but we're going to actually hook it up here first. Once you get it in, the, in there, it seems to work pretty good. Alright, so we've got the adjuster in there. Make sure you get your adjuster cable around that channel and then hook it up down here at the bottom. And that's step three. Got one more step and that's to actually put in the adjuster piece here. Uh, if you look at this adjuster, you want to make sure that it's twisted all the way in, screwed all the way in. There's a piece that comes off and the short end goes to the emergency brake side. And uh, I'm just going to keep it together and actually spread. Breaks apart a little. And this is it's kind of tricky, but it can be done. Spread both sides. This is how I do it. Now whether that's the way it's supposed to be or not, I don't know. But this is the way I do it. Just spread those dudes apart. Ease it, ease it in, and that is together. It's ready for self adjustment. You can check it just by pulling up on the cable on the top. It's moving up and down. You got it right. Alright, we're going to take a look at the whole operation. Are you sure you can see most everything going on in there? Once again from the point of the tensioner. Get your two springs. Tension cable. The channel. Brake retainer spring. Adjuster. You can see how it's hooked up there to the adjuster cable. The tensioning spring. There's your adjuster. Brake retainer spring another tensioning spring and don't forget your spreader bar there you go thanks for watching